If you care about energy efficiency and the environment, then Radiant Tech may be the best company for you. The folks at Radiant Tech have always been passionate about energy efficiency and protecting the environment, and you'll see these values in everything they do. Our customers give many good reasons why they want to use energy wisely. They cite saving money, increasing resale value, and perhaps setting a good example for their children. They also enjoy full comfort and warmth in a way that's affordable and makes sense. But it's important to understand that at Radiant Tech, energy efficiency does not need to cost a lot of extra money. Often, it's just a matter of common sense design. This is where Radiant Tech really helps their customers understand what products make sense and which ones are unproven or are too expensive to pay for themselves in a reasonable period of time. I'm here with Kevin Ingalls, Radiant Tech Sales Manager. Kevin, take us through the system components and tell us why they're so efficient. First of all, Radiant Floor Heating just by itself can save as much as 15% or more compared to conventional baseboard heating. What's so amazing about Radiant is that people actually feel comfortable at temperatures 3 to 4 degrees cooler than with baseboard units. It's like having the sun shine in your house 24 hours a day. With that in mind, let's look at some individual components starting with the heating unit. Of course, it would be ideal to invest in a new high efficiency water heater like the Polaris. The benefits are high combustion efficiency, low standby losses, condensation of the flue gases, and environmental protection. You might even find that the Polaris pays for itself by eliminating the boiler and by being so efficient that it will vent in plastic pipe instead of an expensive chimney. But if you can't invest in a Polaris right away, you will find that the open direct system will still work efficiently with older, less efficient water heaters. The reason for this is that older water heaters are inefficient because of standby losses. When the water heater is used more frequently, standby losses are lower and efficiency is greater. What about the pumps that circulate the water? We find that efficient pumps cost about the same as inefficient pumps. We recommend these multi-speed pumps that enable you to tune your system for optimal flow. These pumps actually save energy at lower settings and don't simply obstruct the flow. Individual pumps for each heating zone are more efficient than one big pump with zone control valves and they are much lower in price. What about the tubing that goes into the floor? Is all tubing the same? No, they are not, Tom, and this is a really important subject. Your whole project will work no better than the tubes that go under the floor. They are heat exchangers, and their efficiency is directly related to the surface area and wall thickness. If those factors are not ideal, your heat exchange will not be ideal either. Installing the wrong tubing can be a very expensive mistake. If you use inefficient tubing, you may have to make up for that with excessive water temperatures or you may have inadequate heating. Some companies use this half-inch water line instead of engineered heat exchanger tubing. They are taking some chances in compromising efficiency. Water line is only designed to transport water from one place to another. It was never engineered to exchange heat in a radiant heating system. Water line simply does not transfer heat as efficiently as possible. Studies show that using our 5 8 inch engineered tubing instead of half-inch water line results in a 28% improvement in efficiency. And since engineered tubing is specially designed for heating, it's less likely to break down and fail in the long run. I know insulation is really important to saving energy. Do you have to insulate radiant systems? Yes, you do, and it is essential to do it right. If not, you will waste money and be disappointed in performance. Since by nature, radiant heat travels in all directions, proper insulation is required to transfer the heat upward in the direction of the floor to be heated, reducing what we call back losses. Using these highly conductive aluminum fins, in this foil insulated barrier, you maximize the heat flowing through the tubing and direct it upward to the floor. If there were no insulation, a large percentage of that heat would be wasted. Tom, you mentioned science earlier. These thermographs clearly demonstrate that much of the heat can be lost as it radiates downward into the empty space, where here, where the fins are in place, the heat is being directed upward toward the floor being heated. I see more and more solar panels everywhere I go. Can solar hot water be incorporated into the system? Solar collectors can be added to most Radiant Tech systems, either now or in the future. Radiant Tech is also a leader in solar research and design and has integrated flexible solar options into its Radiant Floor design. A solar add-on can create the most energy efficient heating system you can buy. Just ask us and we'll show you how. How can I find out more about solar design? There is a wealth of solar information at RadiantSolar.com and you can get there from RadiantTech.com website. And you can always call the Radiant Tech 800 number and talk to us, or use the chat feature. Thanks, Kevin. It's nice to know that saving money and saving the planet go hand in hand at Radiant Tech.
If you have any questions about radiant heating systems, give us a call. Our customer service team will be with you every step of the way. Thanks for watching.